All right, so you're ready to sign up at ClickBank. This process is not hard, but there are a few things that you need to pay close attention to that I want to address. So what you want to do is you want to go to ClickBank.com, click on sign up, and here's a sign up form. Essentially, you know, whether you create an affiliate account or a vendor account, it's the same account. So when you create an account, you can promote products as well as, you know, sell products. So click on sign up or here, here, fill in the information. There's about 145 or more uh, countries and I'm sure they're adding more. You want to fill out this information, but I want you to pay close attention to one thing. That's the, the username right here. This username or account nickname is very important because it's sort of like the, it bridges the gap between your sales page and your thank you page. Now keep in mind that there have been studies that where somebody goes from your sales page, you know, they see the ClickBank form and they exit. So you want to make sure that they understand that this ClickBank is a payment processor and it's part of your process. So when they click the payment button, and they see you know that your nickname is related to whatever product you're promoting then they get okay this is just the payment process and this is part of the product I buy through this product and then I will get you know the product so you if you can create a nickname that relates to your niche or your market so whatever that might be just name that account and try to Find an account username that is related to that account. Once you're done with that, then go ahead and log in. I'm going to go ahead and log in because I already have an account. Now, before we go out and create the pitch page in the next video, I want to walk you through the ClickBank site. Now, as you can see at the top, you have my account. In this area, you basically add your information your information like direct deposit information so uh, people can pay you, the ClickBank can pay you and deposit money into your uh, bank account. Uh, they also do checks and so forth. The My Site, the, we'll do that in video nine. Uh, this is the My Products page where you add your products, uh, standard products, recurring billing products, upsell products and so forth. Uh, so this is the section that we'll be working on primarily and this is the my pages section where you can upload images you can change the my order form so you can change the order form which is good because that bridges the gap between the sales page and the thank you page um, one tip is that if you make the order form uh, look more like your site then you can get better conversions that way uh, this is my spotlight this is my ads and you can look at that later and uh, this is the hop ad builder uh, so we're going to pay closer attention to this area here now what i want to do is talk about standard products and recurring billing products standard products are basically products that you sell and you're only charging somebody like a one-time fee like 47 dollars and then they get the product recurring billing products are sites like monthly membership sites let's say you run a video membership site and you are providing somebody with every month a brand new product so they're paying you you know 17 27 37 dollars or 47 dollars a month every single month um, and you're providing value every single month or that could be a software product and so forth so what I want to do now before I move on to video number five is show you what it looks like to add a standard and recurring billing product. So what you do is if you click on this link, I'm actually looking at the standard product. So if you click on this link, you're going to see the green add new product to the right. All you have to do is click on that. And if you click on the recurring billing products, you're going to say, see the same thing, the add new product. And you're going to see a list of products if you have them underneath those sections. 
Now, right now I am looking at the standard product. The standard product is a very simple form. It's shorter than the recurring section. So as you can see here, if you scroll down, this is all the information that you need to include. You need to include the product type is an audio, ebook, games, video software, or a one-time membership site. Um, the item number is basically how many products you have. And I already have some products in there. But for those of you that are starting out and you've never used ClickBank before, you're going to see a number one here. And then you're going to see the thank you page and the mobile thank you page. So you enter your thank you page here. Uh, you enter the product and you enter the product price here and the language and the product title. Now you might be thinking, well, where do I enter the pitch page? Well, you can actually do that by going back to the my site information at the top and clicking on that and then clicking on that and entering the pitch page up there. So for example, I clicked on my site, the link at the top, and then you click on the marketplace information editor. And then it says hop link target URL. This is basically the pitch page. Uh, so, you know, if you're just using, you know, there's scripts out there that will allow you to add like a hop link target URL that will enable you to add more than one product. But if you're just doing it manually, then your pitch page would basically be put here. So if I go back here, you enter this information, click on save changes. And when you're ready to, you know, get this submitted and approved, basically submit this and then you go back, it'll go back to the, the page and it'll, it'll have an icon that says, uh, click for approval and you just click on that link. And once you get your product approved the first time, usually the rest of the products can be approved uh, after that. Now this is setting up a recurring product. Um, as you can see, it's the same thing, just about the same thing, the, the product type, item number, uh, thank you page. Uh, everything's the same except uh, the monthly cost. So this part here is different. So you have the initial price, which uh, the customer pays for the first time. And the rebuild price is basically the second month. So the first month you could charge them, let's say a dollar. And then this, the second month you could charge them, you know, after that, whatever period it is after that. So this is the initial price for the single purchase of a standard pro product. And this is what they are rebuild after that. Uh, this is, you can set the commission or you can change that to something like 75% and so forth. Uh, you can put a trial period if you want. Um, you can put it for, let's say, for the first seven days, um, for a month, and so forth. So the trial period is basically, you know, dollar for the first seven days. And then after that, you charge them a certain amount for biweekly, monthly, quarterly, or yearly. And the direct duration is as well. Uh, you put the product title and the description. So it's, it's kind of a little bit different than the standard product, but not as different. And in terms of the pitch page, again, you go to the my site under my site and the hop uh, target URL is the pit, pitch page. Uh, so with that said, let's move on to the pitch page creation.